Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to show you in this video a uh, real quick way to find a free uh, virtual TI-83 calculator download. Um, it's the one that I use on my computer uh, at school um, with you guys most of the time. Um, now unfortunately, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to download it here, uh, but unfortunately I won't get it to work because I'm making this video on a Mac computer and this particular calculator, virtual kit calculator, only works if you have a PC so if you've got Windows you're good to go um, if you have a Mac uh, you probably have to look somewhere else to find one um, just because of the type of file it is it's designed for Windows um, as opposed to Mac so I want to show you how to get to it um, how to download it uh, things like that but you'll have to um, you'll just have to you won't see it show up here um, you'll just have to understand like the things that I'm explaining to you about where to find it how to open it up things like that um, without actually seeing me pull the calculator up here. So the first thing we're going to do is if you click on your address bar, just open up a internet page, uh, Firefox, Internet Explorer, uh, Google Chrome, whatever you use, and click on the address bar, and then you're going to type in www.videomathteacher.com slash virtual dash ti dash calculator dot html okay and I'm going to leave this up here for just a second for you to see it so that once again that the www.videomathteacher.com slash virtual dash ti dash calculator dot html okay and then we're going to go to this site and it should pop up at the top and say free virtual ti graphing calculator download so are you going to do is you're going to move right here if you look in the middle it says download virtual TI calculator um, and you are going to have to have a program called WinZip or something that will open up zip files on a computer um, let me see if it'll actually work here on this Mac I'm going to click download and it's going to start downloading okay and so I'm going to click up here to actually see my downloads. Now yours is probably going to open somewhere else. Um, you may, you probably won't have a download button right here, but maybe yours will pop up at the bottom of your screen that it's downloaded. In which case, just click on it once it's done. And if at any point it's going too fast, the video is going too fast, like yours isn't actually downloaded yet, um, just pause this and uh, wait until your file actually downloads so you can see the steps. Um, or if you can just keep up with it, that's fine. Just go back later and download it um, once you're done. So I'm going to open this file up. Okay. And once it opens up, minimize this for a second. Okay, so once you open it up, you probably will have a, depending on the type of program you use, um, if you have WinZip, it may ask you to. Uh, you may have. It may pull up just a picture of this folder in another window, and it may give you the option to extract that folder. So if it does, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the where it says VTI folder, um, click on the folder that's popping up, and then click extract. And you may have to give it a location, like uh, figure out whether you want to save it to your uh, my documents folder or your desktop, something like that. Um, so if in other words you may be, be able to click on desktop and then click extract all or extract the folder the file and what's going to happen is it, it for instance if you did say extract it to the desktop what's going to happen is it's going to pop up with a new folder on your desktop and I'm just going to move it to there for mine um, and that is called VTI folder and then you're going to open that folder and inside there are all these different random files okay and you're not expected to understand what any of these really are. These are all just the files that it uses. The one file that you're going to be looking for is probably going to be down at the very end, and it's called vti.exe. vti.exe. That is actually the, the button you're going to click um, to actually run the calculator. Okay? So you can double click it. If I double click it, it's going to come up and say you can't open because it's, it's a Microsoft Windows application and it's not supported on OS, which is Apple's uh, operating system. However, just understand that when you click it, it'll probably come up with a little screen that says Virtual TI, and then the calculator pops up. Okay. Now, uh, when I've done this before, it always pops up with like some numbers or something already written in, which is fine. You can click the clear button, and like 
like you've seen in class if you can just click the buttons with the mouse um, numbers generally you can type but trying to do plus and minus and second and all that um, I've actually not explored with it enough to figure out the keys that go with it but I know the numbers work if you type the numbers in but anytime you want to do plus or minus or times I just suggest actually clicking the buttons that show up on the calculator and you can mess around with it now the tricky part is getting out of it um, so if you clicked on this file then the calculator has popped up okay so if you ever need to go back to it like once again just click on the VTI folder that's on your desktop or wherever you save the folder to and scroll back down to the VTI.exe file and double click it and it will always pop up there okay now to get it to actually um, quit to quit the calculator um, or find any options you'll right click so if you have a two button mouse right click on the calculator and it will give you the options um, to change different things about it I don't recommend just messing with the settings um, it may do something that you're not able to fix and then you'll have to delete it and re-download the folder all again um, but if you ever need to cancel it or to exit to quit if you right click on the calculator there will be an option that says exit um, without saving state and what that means is it'll quit without saving what's on your calculator now if you click exit and save state or however that is worded in particularly then it will quit the calculator and when you turn it back on it'll be just like our calculators at school where it'll pull up what you last were doing on the calculator if you click exit without saving state it'll always go back to the main screen that it opens up with the first time you have it okay so that's how it works um, again you can use that it is a free download um, uh, I just stumbled upon it looking for one myself as a teacher but uh, if you guys can use it at home great um, it's, it's a definitely a cheap alternative to not actually going out and buying a calculator right now so I uh, hope you use that and as we as I go through the tutorial videos um, and the target videos just understand that there may be some calculator operations I'm doing so it would be beneficial to have a calculator and if you can have one that you can pull up on your computer even better because you can just use it right as you uh, work along with the pro uh, problems that I give you so hope that helps you out uh, it's a easy calculator to use on your computer and uh, other than that if you have any questions you can comment on the video or send me an email or an Edmodo message something like that or just talk to me at school and I'll be glad to help you out okay so good luck and I hope that worked out for you